definitely over with time I've learned and for me it's all about music. <laughs> And it's nice when you have a client that's like, all right, what's your playlist? And I'm like, oh, I have a photo shoot playlist. And it ranges from rock and roll to country to what's hot right now to super sad, depressing songs just to pull out different emotions from me so I can just go and give you whatever emotion and expression that you may need. So you may have a thousands, of, thousands of shot in one look, but totally different in each frame. You know what I mean? So that's how I do it. I like to just listen to music and just let go. Or uh, photographers, for sure, hands down, Stephen Mizell. I would, I would not be anywhere near close to where I am today if it wasn't for Stephen. And I always thank him whenever I possibly can because he definitely made me who I am today. And there's Testino, who's always super fun to work with. Uh, Inez and Benoon, I love Inez. They, they are the most dynamic team, and you definitely feel their love just as, you know, <laughs> being together. Uh, the Marshall is always a dream to work with because he's always super, super fast. And um, Mariano um, Vivanco is really cool, too. He's one of my favorites and a friend. Uh, for designers, the one man who will probably stay in my heart until the day I die is Jean Paul Gaultier. He's just such a dream. Like, He's so legendary in his, in his name and with his fashion house. He's just so lovely to be around and to just sit down and pick his brain during a fitting. Is, you learn something new every single time you see him. And he's extremely loyal and I, I, just, I just love him. I just love him, love him, love him. And, and there's like, you know, the Christian Seriano and Laquan Smith and Mark Jacobs. Those guys are really cool too. Well, um, I guess. Steven and Franco decided they wanted to dedicate an issue to women of color in this industry and I was fortunate enough to be not only on the cover but inside the magazine <laughs> and I was totally ecstatic, you know. I wasn't really working that much or doing things of that caliber at the time. I was, I was just so happy to be a part of it from shows to campaigns to interviews. People wanted to know who I am and why I'm on the cover. So it definitely helped in a whole world of its own. It, it's insane, it's a mix between aerobics to cardio, from Pilates to kickboxing. In my apartment I have a gym, so I go down and run whenever I feel like it. <laughs> I, I like to call myself a chef, so um, I cook a lot of comfort foods, which probably isn't so good for my career, but it's really good for my palate. <laughs> and um, so that kind of adds on pounds, but also with the working out, it kind of cancels it out. Mm. Anything seafood, any type of seafood. Yeah, my boyfriend and I have been on like a fish binge, so we've been learning how to make different styles of different types of fish. So, yeah, seafood. And, but more so like Latin based food, like lots of rice. So for hair, I kind of do kind of just depend on my hairstylist. His name is Dante Bradshaw. He is phenomenal. As far as I know, what he uses in my hair, he's like an Aveda addict. <laughs> so he uses a lot of Aveda products on my, on my hair. I've recently gotten to Burt Bees. I love their whole skin line for the face, so they have a very nice, um, a nice, like, I think it's like an apricot scrub that mm -hmm. I use, and then I use one of their cleansers, but when I'm feeling pretty domestic, I make <laughs> my own mask, yeah. which consists of, um, like, a whole avocado and some chopped up apricots and some honey, mm -hmm. and, um, just smother it on and let it get hard and wash it off with a lupa, and that radiates your skin. And, uh, also we do, like, a tablespoon of honey and olive oil and you take it, it kind of moisturizes your skin from the inside out so it gets you a nice glow. Getting all dressed up, doing my hair in a nice special way that I'll make those something a bit more jazzy but for like every day, I am, yeah, I'm like a t-shirt, some sneakers, not sneakers, yeah I like some boots like you know some Doc Martens and like a cool little v-neck or a nice graphic tee or a nice big like cable knit sweater and some leggings and you know a cute little shoe but um yeah I try to look polished at all times. I'm definitely more of a shoe girl versus handbags. Um, I think I may have about I don't know maybe like 60 pairs of shoes or so I guess and sandals but um yeah I, I do more shoes than than bags. I have my shoes okay <laughs> well shoes are from um, Fendi. I'm definitely a Fendi girl, definitely, and um, you know my rings, I got this actually for Christmas for my sisters from Henry Bindo, and um, this is just a nice little ring I have, and these bracelets I got in Botswana last week, 
along with the necklace and yeah most fashionable city besides new york i would have to say would be london mm. yeah for sure and um so just to go just for whatever purposes would definitely be phuket thailand could definitely stay out there for quite some time <laughs> Yeah, I like to get a nice book and I like to get lost in my own world and books and I, lo I love to cook so I do a lot of cooking on my downtime and um, sleeping, lots and lots of sleeping and shopping of course, you know, like any other girl. So I'm actually um, a smile ambassador for Operation Smile and um, Operation Smile, if you don't know, they're an organization that goes to uh, you know, a world of different third world countries mainly but they go to a lot of different places and um, show the doctors there how to fix a cleft palate or a cleft lip. So um, it's definitely a beautiful thing to be a part of. There's a lot of great things coming up. You know, um, I'll be in the magazines that you guys usually see me in and um, making money, you know, yeah. So yeah, just shooting, shooting my butt off and you'll see me on the catwalks coming this, what, September or maybe yeah. even for Couture. So yeah. For the future, We'll see, you know, who knows what the future um, holds. I've been taking a few acting lessons, um, so maybe you'll see me in the big screen. But um, honestly, my heart and soul is really into cooking, so I may come out wow. with something. Maybe I'll have a cooking show, maybe I'll have a cookbook, you never know. Hi, it's Cecily Lopez, and you're watching Model Behavior on Style Blazer TV.